Hey guys, it's Stefan van der Vleck from Clever Messenger. And in this video, you're going to discover how to set up Instagram chatbot flows with the Flow Composer of Clever Messenger. It's extremely easy to set these things up if you already are familiar with the Flow Composer itself for Messenger. As you can see right here, we just logged in. And if you focus right here on the page card, you can see that there is now an Instagram icon as well, indicating that you have an Instagram account attached to this particular page, that the chatbot functionality should be working on this page as well. Now, first things first, we are going to navigate to dashboard right here. And once on the page, we simply go to the automation tab and click on the magical wand right there and go to flows. Now, once you actually hooked up Instagram into your Facebook page and Clever Messenger, you now are able to create Instagram flows. As you can see right here from the dropdown where it says platform, you can now select Instagram. And that's what we do right here. Simply select Instagram from the drop down and give it a name. So in this demonstration video, I'm going to create two simple flows. The first thing I'm going to create is a flow that is attached to an icebreaker. And I'm going to go with a get started button approach. Simply one flow, one icebreaker. And once people actually click on that icebreaker inside Instagram, the conversation will start. And as for the default reply, I'm going to go with a simple default reply that triggers each and every time a subscriber or user puts something into your chatbot that the chatbot or clever messenger does not recognize, meaning that there is no trigger keyword setup for that specific user input. Now, first things first, I'm going to create that flow for the icebreaker functionality. So, so let's go with the name conversation starter. There we go. Once you're satisfied with the name, click on confirm. This redirects you to the flow composer. And as you can see right here, we have a bunch of cards on the left right here. Let me first click on build from scratch. And you see that we have two message types right now, which is the text card and the uh, image and the image card. Now Facebook just pushed an update where we are able to set up carousel items as well. So that's something we are going to add sooner or later as well. And of course you have those famous ask for email address card, phone number card, other information, multiple choice and the actions right here. Now, if you have a pro account, you see some more actions right here, like the web or cart, but I'm shooting these videos right here on a non-pro account. So I'm not able to use those options right now. However, I don't need those to make this Instagram stuff to work anyways. And of course we have the integration cards, all these integration cards and all these integrations immediately work with your Instagram chapel as well. So if you want to extract emails from the Instagram users, you simply set up a flow that asks for their email address and you set up the automation in such a way that it sends over that email address to one of the other responders, for example, say for phone numbers, if you want to send it over to an SMS service or one of the other third party tools we integrate with as well. So let's first create that conversation starter, right? Now that's obviously extremely easy. You guys know the drill. You simply drag and drop those cards to the canvas right there. And I'm going to opt for two cards, uh, open up this card right here. There we go. Let's type something like, welcome to the best chatbots experience. Top it off with a cool emoji right there. Let's go with the thumbs up, click on save. Attach that to the next card. We can set up a delay right there. Let's say three seconds right there. And let's open up this card right here and say something like, how can we help you? Excuse me. Human. Uh, I always like to provide a human escalation path. Something like that. There we go. Extremely easy to set up. And this is the icebreaker flow already done. So the next thing I'm going to set up is the default reply. Again, I go back to the flows page right here. Click on create new. Make sure that I select Instagram from the drop down. And for this uh, name, I'm going to opt for default reply Instagram. Once satisfied with the name, again, click on confirm. This redirects us back to the flow composer. And here is where we are going to set up a simple default reply that will trigger each and every time someone puts something in the Instagram chatbot that Cloud Messenger does not recognize. Again, I'm not going to put in any segmentation or delays for this video, meaning this is the most generic setup and it will trigger each and every time someone puts something in the chatbot. Again, I'm going to keep it extremely easy. Let's say something like didn't quite understand that please try again something like that save it and click on save now the only thing we need to do is navigate to the configuration page 
uh, navigate to configure right there. And since we are all about Instagram nowadays, we click on Instagram right here. And now we simply set things up. So first things first, I always work from top to bottom. There we go. And then add an icebreaker right there for the conversation starter. And let's say, hi, let's chat. Add a cool emoji right there. There we go. Don't forget to click on save. Now the icebreaker is set up on the Instagram and the next thing I'm going to do is set up the default reply. So default reply Instagram from the dropdown. But as you notice, it only grabs the Instagram related flow. So if you have a bunch of messenger flows, don't worry that you need to search through an endless stream of uh, messenger flows. We only show the flows from Instagram over at the Instagram setup. And we only show the messenger flows over at the messenger flow setup. So for this, we are going to choose the default reply Instagram. Again, I can open up the preview, see what I type. That seems about right. So now we can go ahead and test this baby out. All right, cool. So we are now inside my own personal Instagram account, and I'm simply going to search for the Clever Messenger Docs account right now in order to send a message. And you will see how this actually looks from a user perspective, right? So let me just do that right now. Go to Clever Messenger Docs. And there we go. We can click on message or tap on message right there. And right at the bottom, we can already see the icebreaker. And that's something I'm going to click on right now. There we go. Awesome stuff. So that works. It says Stefan van der Vlag, welcome to the best champions experience. And that thumbs up we set up in the message as well. And obviously we set up a default reply as well. So once I type any type of gibberish right here, it should trigger that message. And there we go. So Stefan van der Vlag didn't quite understand that. Please try again. So in this video, you have seen how to set up messages and flows in the Instagram Composer on Clever Messenger and how it actually looks like from a user perspective. We set up a quick icebreaker and a default reply. Obviously, that's not all what you can do with the Flow Composer. You can use quick replies as well as triggers and a ton of other features that are possible with the Messenger Flow Composer as well. Now, there are a couple of things that still need to be worked on by Facebook. So once they release their endpoints, we can actually set everything up on our end as well. Like one of the things I spoke earlier of, the carousel messages. That said, I hope you like this video and I cannot wait to see how your Instagram flows are going to look like. And uh, yeah, I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.